Good evening, everybody. We are out on the water. It's December 31st, the last day of 2023. We woke up this morning. It was 34 degrees outside. And we said, what can we do on the last day of the year when it's 34 degrees? So we should go diving. So this is exactly what we did. We came out here with Eric Larson with Shark Quest. Said, hey, let's go get on the boat and go see if we could find some lionfish. And do one last dive for 2023. That's enough talking. Let's get to the diving video. Welcome back to Below the Surface. We are going after some lionfish. And as if you notice, I have a new pole spear in my hand. This one comes courtesy of the Lionator from lionatorpolespears.com. I've been talking to Walt Dealman, the owner and CEO, who's uh, making these pole spears. He sent a couple to me, one to try out underwater, and if I liked it, another one to give away to you guys. So stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you how you guys can get your hands on one of these for free. Anyways, to the lionfish. Right now we're diving on what we call the boat yard. This first boat that I'm on is called the transport vessel. And they're in a line right on the bow of this ship is a sailboat and then right off that sailboat's port side is a tugboat about 50 yards you can't see it around because the water's a little murky on a nice calm clear day when you're going down on these ships you can see all three in a line and it's pretty awesome we've got this little lionfish hanging out on the bow thinking that he's gonna get away but not today transport vessel that's pretty deep I think that's about 112 feet so I don't have a whole lot of NDL time I got just enough to take out these guys for you guys interested in the Ember Coast Open the preseason registration just started $75 gets you a spot the preseason is pretty cool. You don't have to take part in the main event, but if you take part in the preseason, every lionfish that you turn into one of the check stations gives you two raffle tickets during the main event drawing. So even if you don't participate in the main event, you still have a chance to win prizes. And it's only $75 if you sign up early. I'm already registered, I guarantee you that. Look at this guy, the biggest one that I've seen today, and it hurts. Deflected. Try to see if he's just gonna hang out, but he goes down pretty deep. Gonna have to come back some other time to find him again. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time to mess around, so I'm gonna try to pick off as many more as I can. And that one gets off too. Maybe it's my choice of music. If I change it up. Let's try it. Yep, must have been it. Little red snapper. Bunch of amicos. Quite a few lionfish hanging out back here. A really cool stingray that was in the sand. Probably the main reason why I scuba dive. Just all the cool stuff that you get to see while you're under the water. Spearing lionfish just gives my diving a purpose. So this is pretty cool. This is a chicken coop on the bow of this sailboat. I figured it'd hold a couple lionfish, but I guess just this one. Either way, I'll take them. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys like this stuff. I know I make quite a few things on my channel between lionfish hunting, scuba diving, kayak fishing, and fishing in general. I really just try to show you guys all the stuff that we have down here in the Inland Coast. It's a waterman's paradise. But while I'm going up this line, and these amicos just hanging out with me. I guess. Might as well take a couple home for dinner. Yep. Take that one. 
Amoco probably have to be the easiest fish to spear. The only problem is, is they're kind of hard to tell between an Amoco and a Amberjack. Once you can tell the difference, it's easy, but at first, they all kind of have the same markings. Best way I can describe it is that Amoco looks like a football or an Amberjack. Looks like a torpedo. There's some other ways you can tell between their dorsal fin and some other stuff, but that's how I always tell. So my trick here, a lot of people think that when you spear a fish, that it's the blood that attracts sharks. But in reality, it's the dying frantic movements that they make. So kill the fish as quick as you can. And you get a whole lot less attention from sharks. And with Amacos, if you take your stringer, put one of them on it, hang it somewhere like I'm about to do on this railing, all of his buddies are gonna hang around and wonder what happened to Jack. Why is he in play? Makes it a whole lot easier to spear a lot more. I'm gonna leave him there because some of the guys that are coming down the line are going specifically for Amoco Jacks. So I'll leave him a plethora. I'm gonna go out these lionfish. This guy goes down this torpedo tube. That's cool, because I have my JBL pole spear too. That one's just a little bit longer, gives me a little bit more reach. And I'll see if I can't get him out of there. The water temperature's 62 degrees, which sounds warm, but it actually starts zapping your body temperature away pretty fast. I'm in a three mil, which definitely wasn't enough. I'm freezing on these dives. So I'm going through my gas a lot faster than I normally would. So if you guys are in cold water, make sure you guys have a proper gas management because you go through it a lot faster than you think. My tanks had 3,400 PSI for a hundred, a steel 100 tank. And I was done after like 22 minutes. So went quick, my sack rate was probably like 1.5. Just something to keep in mind. This guy, he's getting in my zookeeper. What I like about these line end pole spears is you can really reach into those paralyzer tips and collapse them in. It makes it a whole lot easier to get the smaller line fish. That one's pretty small. No way I would ever got it with my JBL. My paralyzer tip on my JBL is just too thick even with this little one that's down here in this gunnel. This one was pretty small too. So this wreck that we're on right now, this is the dolphin. I've made a video of this wreck before, but I'll leave the coordinates down for this one too. It's also another good wreck for you scuba divers and you fishermen come target on not too far outside of the Destin Pass I'm telling you Destin is the water sportsman's paradise all because of what the Okaloosa County Tourism Department's doing they're sinking so many ships out here and giving us so many structures to fish on and scuba dive on I can't say enough good things about those guys Alex Fogg and his team are definitely hooking us up So these two that are down here, they're newer divers. I don't know if they really know how to spearfish or if they've done a lot of spearfishing before, but I don't see any fish on the stringer. But that's all right. They'll figure it out. I'm about out of gas and I'm freezing. So I'm going up to that anchor line. And I'm gonna head up. But don't forget, hang around until the end, because I'm gonna show you guys how exactly you can go home with one of these line editor pole spears. You don't wanna miss out. All right, you guys, thanks for checking out that video. Like I said, here's one of those line editor pole spears. 
brand new and waiting for one of you guys to take it home. So if you guys want this pulse spear, all you have to do is go over to the Lionator's Facebook page, give them a follow, and then come back over here to my channel, leave a comment down below, and all you have to say is done. And then on my next lionfish hunting trip video that I make, I'll go back through this video's comments, and I will randomly select one of you guys to get this pulse spear. You guys won't be disappointed. It comes with a uh, paralyzer tip. And it's uh, just in time for the Emerald Coast Open. So, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.